Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jorge Yao back with another Clash of Clans Road to Legends video. Now in this video, uh, I'm using my second account, which ironically is actually higher than my main account, Jorge Yao. So I'm using the hashtag Yao Squad account, which uh, for those of you who don't know and watching for the first time, um, you can check my, I think it was episode two, where I explain, um, I do the actual name change right uh, live for the viewers, and I named it Yao Squad basically for my viewers and for my fans basically. It was live on Twitch and uh, I named it Yao Squad for them because uh, they like to overuse and abuse that uh, Yao Squad hashtag so it's great. So as you can see I'm scrolling through the leaderboards and seeing you know where I rank. I was top 50 at the time uh, when I recorded this video uh, a couple days ago but uh, BJ Can Dive has been kind of trolling me to use uh, so as you guys know, I'm always, I've always been a dragon raider and since level 5 dragons came out, I've kind of stuck to dragons. But uh, he's, you know, he's been trying to convince me to use Lava Lunian and I was never a great Lava Lunian attacker, but I know that Lava Lunian is probably the most OP attack out there right now. So I just wanted to go over some of my newest Lava Lunian attacks above 4900. I know this is probably not the best account to use it on, but uh, I want to show you some 2 star attacks and see how strong it is and show you guys how strong it is. Um, so here I go, I'm going to show you uh, some of my replays. This is the first one, it's on Angel Dust from TW, uh, Quantum's Web. Now this base that you see right here is actually a pretty popular base. Um, and it's been winning a lot of defenses for me uh, last season, but it's getting a little bit overused now. So you can see I dropped my first Lava to go towards the first um, air defense at the bottom right. Now I, I do that and I, you, I use a little mixture of surgical lava lunion and the mass lava lunion at the top. Now I do that to take care of the air the defenses there because what I wanted to do is if you notice from probably around 12 o'clock to around 6 o'clock um, there are defenses there and this base is strategically designed so that your lavas or not your lava but your loons will actually funnel around the core. So what you want to do is uh, what you can see is I took out the top and the bottom first so that means that there's no defenses for them to funnel around. So they'll go straight towards the middle, which they do. So it's a standard composition, you know, with the uh, with the archers, the six wall breakers, the uh, around 20 something lava lo uh, lunians, excuse me, and 20 something minions, and three lava lo uh, three lava hounds. So three rage, two freeze, one poison. So as you can see, I already got 50% with just lava lunians. Um, and I'll go into more detail about this attack later uh, because. I have, I'll be going over about three attacks in this video, so they're all similar, but I just wanted to go over a quick overview of basically one of my first Lava Lunian attacks. So I dropped the king there, and the reason why I did that first is because I want to clear out all the outside buildings before I drop my queen, because then, as you can see, when I drop my queen, she goes straight towards the town hall. Now, if I didn't use my king first, the queen with the new AI, she would actually wander around the base rather than go straight through. So there you can see, you know, plus 13, pretty, pretty huge when you're above 4,900, right? So this got me to around 4,930 something, I think. So right now, as you can see, I'm at 4,922. I took a defensive loss of like negative 22. So I've been kind of hovering around uh, 4,900 uh, to 4,940, uh, depending on how well my session goes. And if I win a defense, then that's great. Uh, if I don't, then I'm back down to like 49.22. I think currently, as I stand, I'm at 49.21. So the last couple of days hasn't really changed much in terms of uh, my cups on this account. Uh, now, I'm going to go into another two-star attack right now. Um, I think the guy's name is Sheila. Um, another two-star attack. Now, I haven't seen this base at all. This is actually a kind of a new base for me. Um, but I usually I drop you know a loon or two just to test where you know if there are any air traps or anything like that. I drop my loon at six o'clock or yes at six o'clock and it goes towards the first air defense and then uh, I kind of snipe those two defenses uh, those archer towers at the bottom and then I do the mass uh, loon uh, lava loonian uh, from the bottom right side. Now the, what you want to be sure of is always you want to drop the freezes on either Teslas or multi-target Infernos um, and then obviously the Rage while the, the Loons get to the center. Now the reason why is because when uh, as opposed to drag attackers the multi-target Infernos are the ones that you really are concerned about with Lava Lunian whereas on the, as a drag attacker you're more concerned about the single target Infernos because those things really just tear apart dragons. Now the thing that I love about this attack compared to dragons is that it's uh, if, it's, if it's done and executed correctly 
um, you most likely can get a two star on pretty much almost any base with just the Lava Lunian strategy uh, without heroes basically. Um, with dragons, um, you know, it's a little bit more, uh, more risky and it depends on the base layout and everything uh, along that line. So um, I'm kind of liking, I'm really liking the Lava Lunian attack. I know DJ Can Die uses the Quattro Lava Lunian. I think it's a little bit overkill, but it is a little bit safer, I guess, to have an extra uh, Lava Hound with you. Um, and as you can see, you know, I'm at 47%. Um, I'm going for the two star. I use my uh, wall breaker, so that's cu crucial, right? Because that, sa that saves you so much time in the end um, in terms of the heroes trying to break down walls. And that's the one thing that I kind of don't have when I'm using the drag attack strategy um, is I don't bring wall breakers with me. So it takes the heroes a while to kind of actually get into the core um, and it wastes a lot of time. So you can see the, the queen takes up a lot. Last uh, air defense at 49%. So if she takes out that. Um, Town Hall basically, so I'll freeze it right now. She takes that, she's hitting that wall, which is kind of weird because you think that, you know, there's enough gap right there or, you know, the Town Hall is close enough where she, if she just moves up one space, she'll be able to just hit the Town Hall, right? But I guess, you know, maybe it's too far away, maybe it's four spaces back, I don't know. But she's hitting the wall. Um, I'm pretty sure on this one because the only thing that's attacking her right now is a mortar, so she's hitting it. Um, so yeah, as you can see, she's standing right where she broke the wall down. So I guess the town hall was just one spot deeper than uh, than uh, her reach, basically. So she's trying to hit the. She broke down the wall, took down the uh, the town hall, and I use my king up top, top right, just to secure the fifty percent. Uh, if the queen, just in case the queen failed. Now if the queen, uh, you know, just taking down the town hall, I was at forty nine percent. So. Uh, taking just taking down the town hall would have gotten me a two star anyway um, with the extra percentage. So there you go, two star again, three uh, three trophies. Now I'm gonna go to another attack where I use Lava Lunion, and this one wasn't as great. I probably could have two starred this attack, um, but I'm gonna go through another attack which I only one starred. Um, so here we go, another box kind of base. It's very similar to a lot of the box bases that you see, a little slightly vari uh, slight variation on it. Now the air defense in here are, are kind of uh, central into the middle, which is tougher for dragons, right? But for a lot of Lunian strats, it's actually not too bad. So I, I use a few loons just to take out a, an archer tower at the top, right? And that's just the, the surgical part that comes in. Now the strategy behind that is I want to take that out so that I can mass, so my loons basically when I do my full, sw uh, basically full swing of loons, like the whole line of loons, that it doesn't all congregate on that one uh, defensive building, right? You want them to be spread out and you want them to kind of see, there you go, I spread them all out and now they're going in and they're not grouping together like they would if that air to, if that uh, archer tower was still there. So I have them there, uh, I fr freeze them up, I froze them up, uh, the middle core part, and now you know I'm letting my loons do the work. Now um, the middle uh, rage that I kind of used was a little bit off timing. I could have done it a little bit better. Uh, as you can see, you know, I didn't really have too many loons in there. I kind of probably dropped it a little bit too preemptively. I'm at 46% and I still have you know two loons and a couple minions left, so I know I'm pretty much good on the one star. Now, for in this, you know, instance, I could have went for the two star, I probably should have went for the two star, but, um, you know, I, I decided not to, as you can see, you'll, you'll see in a second. So right now, you can see, you know, I'm just trying to see if I can just pick off a few percentage, so that minion right there on the Dark Spell Factory, um, I finally got one, I wasted two minions there because of the air defense, but with proper placement, uh, that one, that one's down, so that's another percent, and that's at, so now I'm at 47%. Um, so at this point, I'm pretty sure that I can get a two star, but I think, uh, you know, when, I, when you're going through these attacks in your head, you're like, okay, should I just not risk it? Plus, I knew that in the clan castle, it was a golem, because I, when I was attacking, there was nothing that came out of the clan castle, right? So I knew that it was either going to be a golem or a lava hound, and if nothing comes out, you can pretty, be, pretty much be sure that it's a golem. So with that being said, that's why I, that was my thought process on, okay, well, if it's a golem, then I'm not going to go for the two star. Um, I'm just going to take the safe bet and go for the one star. But in this instance, though, because uh, nothing's really hitting my king except for the golem, I probably could have gone for the two star if I had the queen support behind him. But again, I didn't want to risk it really much. And as you can see, the golem is actually doing a lot of damage to a level 40 king. Like, he's down to almost half health, maybe even less than half, half health. And I rage him up and use his ability, but look, he's down to less than half health on one golem. So they, they, 
that's not a <laughs> that's not a small amount of damage. That's actually a huge amount of damage for one golem. So um, so that's my attack strategy there. I went pretty safe on there. I didn't want to go for the two star. Um, I wanted to just the easy cups basically and didn't want to take the risk because at this level uh, you know it's not worth the extra three cups or so if you're gonna lose like 30 something plus 20 something plus because then you're set back and basically your entire session is a net loss and you never want a uh, net loss on a session um, as you can see I'm looking at Jorge my main accounts uh, trophies right now um, it's a lot lower you know I want to take Jorge Yao up to Legends League using just drags. I want to be the first drag attacker to be in Legends because all the Legends attackers, they're all uh, Lava Lunian, so, um, which, which goes to show Lava Lunian is OP. But there you go, uh, I wanted to show you Lava Lunian and uh, th thanks again for tuning in to my Road to Legends and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Uh, probably some more drag attacks from my main account, Jorge Yao. See if I can get him up a little bit, and I'll see you guys later.